Good morning. I slept in and I feel good. I haven't slept in in a while, so I'm super duper happy. So I have a couple of errands to run today. I need to pick up the samples for my merch. I know you guys have been asking me literally nonstop for to restock. And for season number two, um, I want to do something festive because it's Christmas. And yeah, so I will be getting those samples. And I'm also going to try and get my booster shot before I leave for Mexico. So I'm actually going to be going to Mexico for two months. I know. It's, it's like a rash, it seems like a rash decision. In a way it is. Um, but I kind of needed it. And I'll explain why in the car. I am on my way to go get my booster vaccine. So booster vaccines are really hard to come by in Korea. And I like woke up at 9 a.m. and made my appointment and got the last one in my area. So I'm super happy. I'm gonna get a Pfizer booster shot. So it'll be the same as all my earlier two vaccines. Very nice because with Omicron, I'm definitely really worried. I booked my tickets and it's non-refundable, so I don't know. I think, yeah, like, and this is also my job. I'm definitely gonna be super careful. I'm gonna take all the precautions needed to be safe and healthy. So yeah, um, I need to just get away for a while to refresh my mental health and to stimulate my brain a little bit more to do fresh content. getting ready to go to a photo shoot and this is my snack I had a salad before this just just to like let it be known I don't eat <coughs> this unhealthy usually
I'm on my way to the shoot. Um, I'm wearing the merch right now. So the photographer um, that's taking the photos, he's someone that's taken my family portraits for the last like five, six years. So I know him really, really well. He really specializes in dog portraits and like the owners um so he was like oh you should bring julie and mija and he's seen them when they were like wee big um so they're they'll probably be excited to see him <laughs> I was supposed to leave this morning, um, but last night I made the decision that it wasn't the right choice to go. Um, I kept going back and forth between my decision initially. The final deciding factor was I should not be the judge of whether the new Omicron variant is going to be deadly or if it's just going to be something that kind of everyone goes through and it has mild symptoms so it's going to be fine. I shouldn't be the judge of that and my job, yes, my job is partially to showcase different foods from around the world and for you guys to vicariously experience the things that I'm experiencing, yes, that's my job, but another big part of my job is to make sure that I keep, I prioritize the health of my community and the people around me and the people I interact with. And with the variant, even if I'm vaccinated and I got a booster shot, there's really no way of knowing just yet. There isn't enough information and with the world closing down again, um, it was too big of a risk for me to take to be traveling during this time. And I honestly am so, so devastated. Um, I was really looking forward to this trip. It was going to be the trip of my life. I was gonna go for two months uh, I had everything planned out. I booked my accommodations. My flights were also non-refundable. Um, but it is what it is. Uh, at least no one got hurt. And I'm healthy and my family's safe. So that's what matters. And I'm trying my ultimate best to look on the bright side and tell myself that this is the right decision to make. And it was an incredibly, incredibly tough one. plan was to stay in Mexico City, then um, to Monterey, then I was going to take a little break at Cabo, and I was going to go to Oaxaca for a month and visit Chiapas, and um, I had a little getaway trip to San Miguel as well, but um, I am actually planning on moving to the U.S., and I'm in the middle of filing my immigration petition for my visa. It's not a healthy mindset to think that, oh, like this isn't home, I'm gonna leave anyways. So I've decided that shouldn't be my mindset. Um, I should really try and be present and enjoy things. Even if my visa case takes much longer than anticipated, I should be happy to be here and I should make peace with it and use this time to 
my fullest because I also don't know when I'll be able to live in Korea for a long time. I'm gonna go touring for houses because I live outside the city center. Made me a little complacent. Um, so I'm gonna get my own place and move out given that I find the right place. So I'm gonna go house touring today with my mom and in an effort to cheer myself up for not going to Mexico. By the way, when I posted on my Instagram stories that I wasn't able to go and I'm pretty devastated, I got so many heartfelt messages from you guys and um, also from my Discord doobies as well. And I'm so thankful, like, Thank you. Um, I don't know what I did to deserve this, but this was obviously like a really tough decision for me. Um, but thank you for supporting my decision and always be being there for me. Um, I wouldn't be here doing this without you guys. So again, thank you. I have no shame showing my amazing pajamas. My mom gifted it to me. Man, I'm really trying to romanticize the little things in life right now. Just, just, just give one to me, for me, please. All my friends who were supposed to visit Korea during the winter, they all canceled because Korea now imposed a 14 day quarantine for anyone who's coming in, whether they're vaccinated or not. Before it wasn't the case, there wasn't any quarantine for people who were vaccinated. US might also pose restrictions to incoming travelers, just too much of a risk for them to come to Korea and then potentially go back to the States and also quarantine again. So they all canceled their trips. So I'm incredibly, incredibly sad. Um, all my best friends were actually supposed to come. So it would have been a really good powwow for us to all get together, but it is what it is. I am woman. 